What's going on guys? My name is Rising and I am the newest face or sound or gameplay getter of Face Network and I'd like to thank them for accepting me as a director over here so hopefully I'm going to be pumping those videos out more than Octomom's pumping babies. <laughs> but uh, like I said, I'm, I wouldn't say that I'm probably the newest director because I actually think somebody just got added like while I'm making this video. So, uh, but I am a new director, let's say that. This is going to be my introduction video. So, I'm not going to talk about my channel too, too much because I do believe that this gameplay is more enough of justice of what you should be seeing from my channel, which is a 101 to 8 on Raid, everyone's favorite map. And I got the PD dub. This is like before all the patches, before this thing got kicked to the curb because it's just god awful nowadays. Um, I like running those lower kill streaks now. I don't really run high kill streaks just for the fact that I have more fun. It allows me to be way more aggressive. I'm not sitting back, letting the kills come to me. I'm up in the enemy spawn without a silencer at all times nowadays. I started a um, a championships or a master series league play live com. I'm gonna be doing 30 videos this the whole month in April. So if you think that that sounds cool, you think that you want to be a part of something great and on my channel you won't regret it guarantee but what I really want to talk on in this video is just a couple of quick tips now I'm not really a big tips and tricks guy just for the fact that I don't believe in that nonsense okay the tips and tricks is just a load of bull the nothing's really really gonna help you get better but actually you playing the game now what I mean by that is just putting in the time and effort and dedication you can't have a good gaming career in Call of Duty and I'm calling it a career because um, that's what a lot of people actually have made good careers from this you can't do well in Call of Duty if you are laid back and you just play it once a month okay you want to get better you play one big tip that I can give you guys is don't listen to these jump spot tips and tricks guys they're not gonna help you better all they're gonna do is just make you worse because they're showing you stuff that you're probably more than likely just gonna be sitting in a corner camping and waiting for the enemy to come to you you're not you're gonna be a non-confrontational player that's not how you get better to get better is to get out of your comfort zone that's one of the best things that helped me is to get out of my comfort zone now I started back in war at war and I didn't know this style of playing called camping. You know, I didn't know what that was. My one of my buddies, he got me into Call of Duty. He said, or I was just you know mimicking his play style. You know, I didn't know what camping was. He was running around with top 95 or let's see what was top 100. That's what it was. It was top 100, MP40, um, BAR, and uh, what was another. Uh, the Aerosol, a Car 98. He was using those type of guns. He wasn't using the LMGs. And that's what made me good. I had a good leader. He was pretty much the guy that showed me how to play. And I just went from his play style, and I had progressed tons since what it were. I had progressed so much since NW3 that it's it's crazy just to see. I go back to NW3 and I look at my vault and I see my play style in NW3 and I come back to here and I've changed so much just in a year's time. It's ridiculous. So one way to get better. Is to get out of your comfort zone another thing that you can do is to put stock on right here this is a great example there's no way I'd have been able to kill all four of those guys if I hadn't had stock that gives you that extra mobility that you need stock and lightweight deadly deadly combinations now one thing that I have to show for stock is a lot of newer players the sensitivity is lower maybe a two or a three if you have lightweight and stock on they're just not going to be able to keep up with you for the fact that you're moving so, so fast. And they're just going to be like a little roly-poly and you're going to be a little humbird zipping and zapping all around the map. It's definitely a lethal combination. It probably should be illegal to have both of them on at the same time. But one of the biggest things that I can give you guys is timing and repetition. Repetition is using the same routes you use every day. I use the same routes here on Raid. I run the same routes, opening routes, constantly. I never change them just for the fact that I know which way I want to go and I know where the enemy is more than likely going to be. 
Map knowledge is also a big thing. You need to learn the maps, get to know them, get to feel the game. You know, they say that, that you don't know something until you feel it. You need to get the feel for this game, and that's where the timing will come in. The timing is key. You need to know when to address your enemy, when to not address them, when to fall back, when to know that you're going to be outplayed. There's many instances where people get outplayed and they blame it on lag. It happens every day, every video. People upload videos to YouTube and they just blame the lag. It's more than likely because they got outplayed because they was feeling a little too cocky and they got outplayed. I mean, if somebody's got an AR and he's head glitching right here and you got the little submachine gun, you're not going to beat him. There's there's just no way you're going to beat him. The submachine gun doesn't have the firepower nor does it have the range. So, remember, you have to play this like chess. Anticipate your opponent's moves and you will exceed in this game. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, let me down in the comments below. It's been a pleasure to talk to you guys. Till the next time, this is Rising Out. Peace.